Welcome back. We have just received the security upgrade that we'll need to get into the Queen's Chamber. So let's see if we can go there now. She's over here. We already tried to get in before. Royal Guard class confirmed. Enter. Yes! And now it is working, and Grimwall's very happy about that, apparently. <laughs> and what do we have here? Kind of hard to tell, honestly. This Cyclops is half bug. Um, some kind of Cyclops bug hybrid? That does not bode well. Who are you? Grit Gritza. Gritza? Yes, that's my name. Gang um, she doesn't seem to be all there. Where are you from? From... Um, Where are you from? From... Team... Team... Okay. Is this some kind of experiment to combine them? I don't think it worked. Team? What team is that? Search... Research team sent to examine insectoids. Gramna, the leader, the betrayer. I guess we figured that out already. Gramna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? He did this to me, 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 my body, N -n not Cyclops anymore. Half the beast. His experiments left me off for, for. I am a freak now. What has he done to you? What experiments? His quest once. To live forever, see insects as the answer. That seems strange. How would insects help you with that? What? I don't understand what answer. That's the... <sighs> that did not help. What are you doing here? My duty to the Queen. What duty is that? To tend the young ones. They are fragile children. So young. Bottles of joy. Bottles of joy? Isn't that supposed to be bundles? These Bottles have children in them? Clones, grumnas, pets. Okay, is that who they're throwing in the furnace when they're done with them or something? I'm not sure. If allowed to mature, these violent sectoid grubs would overrun the world. There is quite a few of them. If allowed to mature, these no. violent sectoid grubs would overrun the world. Can't skip that again. Cyclops babies in bottles? Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. This is a test of the subject's threshold. The serum will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? Well, that's not an experiment. It's torture. What possible purpose? When you outrank me in lab years, Max, you can question the methods. I see the potential fruits of our research and that justifies the means. A valuable lesson in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I don't 
don't understand. Poor monkey. The more we see of Dr. Morgan, the less uh, I like him. And the more I wonder why he is apparently our physician at the uh, uh, asylum. I guess these bottles triggered that view, that uh, flashback somehow. These bottles would also be a good proof to show to Graven. I don't think we can just take him in here because of the security, but maybe we can take one of them with us. No, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to cut it free. Grap. Grap. Such a weird uh, swear word. An insectoid pincher. The edges are sharp. Maybe they're sharp enough to cut this bottle free. That worked. A psychops baby in a bottle. Atrocity. Indeed. Guess we have to put a stop to whatever's happening here. The glow from within. Must be some large fire. Oh, I think I'm actually just looking at the furnace building. It's kind of hard to tell because of the cutout here. What's this? A tube or tunnel of some sort. I wonder how it can be activated. A good question, to which we do not have an answer. Let's see if Graven will believe us now. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me? By the Makers. Yes, of course. I suppose we should search Gromna's pod. Come on, I have his globe code. seen your fellow team members in the Queen's chambers. Gromna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them. I'm sorry, Graven, but their minds are gone. It's too late. May the Makers preserve their souls. What's the globe code, Graven? Immortal. That's the word to unlock the door. Password. Immortal. Enter. What are those? They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of the Great Machine. Great Machine? What's that? It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise, but now it remains silent. Hmm. What? According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the great machine and see for myself. Okay. So, I guess Gromna is doing something with the Great Machine, which I think is that machine we saw earlier in the bottom left of the hive. Kind of weird what's going on here with these bottles of children and all the experiments being done on the insects and the Cyclops. I wonder if that in any way relates to the experiments the real Dr. Morgan was doing. Actually, come to think of it, isn't Gromna an anagram of Morgan? I actually never noticed that before. I think that is the intention here. Interesting. There's some writing on the wall. Bugs will kneel before immortal Gromna. 
Okay. Bugs will kneel before immortal Gromna. That is not what that says. There's definitely the word ants here, and you did not say that. So. Mutilated grubs. What is Gromna doing with them? Some kind of experimentation of his own, I guess? Gromna's notes. They say that a sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Um, that's the transport tube we saw in the Queen's Chamber that Grimwall was wor wondering how to open. So I guess we need the sound generator or whatever that is. These designs. I do not understand them. Graven did though, so that's not a problem. This pillow appears to be rather lumpy. Okay. Aha! A key! That must be a big key if it made a noticeable lump in the pillow. A key! Indeed. A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important within. Grap, a locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important within. Well, we did just find a key. Not very smart to store the key, like... ...a few centimeters from the actual po actual thing that it unlocks, but sure. A key. It did work. Hmm. A control device. It seems to be generating an odd sound. A sound generator. I guess that's what we need to open that tunnel. Letting us get deeper into the hive. Should probably go try that out. First I want to look in on Graven at the Great Machine. See if he's found anything. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are. I guess we should help him with that and try to find those pieces. Keep an eye out for him. We haven't seen him anywhere yet, so... I can't tell you how nice it is that this guy's fast, <laughs> unlike uh, Sarah. Um, Alright, let's see if we can open this a tunnel. A sound generator. Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? Um, ew. Hello, my children. Yes, father is here. <laughs> Gromna, I presume. And lots of Cyclops children in cages. That can't be good. Children in cages! Everything I see in this place enrages me more! Um, okay. I was not expecting that. Actually, I think we heard the same melody in the uh, cutscene just now. Before Gromna went through that door. I wonder if that's relevant somehow. Is this all the body of a single beast? Yeah, it seems like it. That's the same creature that we saw at the beginning outside, laying eggs. What have they done to this poor fellow? He's got an insectoid body. It's another weird Cyclops insect hybrid. Who are you? I am Gr Grandor, and you 
You are? I am Grimwall. Gr Gr Grimwall the hero? Too late to sa save us n now, hero. Where are you from? R research team. S s sent to investigate the insect t toids. Sent by who? C Council of Peace sent us to s stop the p p plague of insectoids. Plague? You mean the insects were going to take over the cities below? Yes. Uh, until Gromna came up with his plan. You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> peace treaty? <laughs> Hell no! He's helping the bu the bugs get stronger with those cybernetics. They're g going to attack d during the meeting for the treaty. Okay, we kind of already knew that he was up to something and definitely not peace. What? I must warn the council before it's too late. Already. Already too l late. Too, t too far away from the city. Our p poor people are doomed. Gromna is a traitor. T t traitor and a butcher. He d d did this to to me said he didn't w didn't want me to run run away s s said i s stay here forever i guess gravin was really lucky that they didn't do that to him wonder why not maybe they needed his mind intact team what team is that C Council of Peace sent us to s stop the p p plague of insectoids. What are you doing here? I f feed the clones. These aren't real children? R real enough for the queen to, to feed on. By the makers! The M m makers cannot help cannot help us now okay well nothing good's going on here they still don't have anything else to say but we had better remember that melody. Even the doorway is blocked by a living wall of worms. The grubs make noise. For what purpose? These grubs are making some kind of faint noise. I wonder... Ugh. Yeah, that, that's an appropriate response, I think. Yeah, they all make a different tone, so obviously we need to mimic the melody that we heard in the cutscene and that the clones are singing to us. Which um, I believe is like this. Yes! It worked! Um, this just keeps getting weirder. Their blood is being drained by this infernal machinery. Oh my god. And another hybrid from the team, I guess? This looks like part of the great machine, but I can't move it. Hmm. Guess we need that. Let's talk to this guy first, though. She's half bug. 
but she still seems aware as a cyclops. Who are you? Gorilla. I'm surprised to see another cyclops in the hive, especially in the queen's chambers. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the Makers. Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grona's research team before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Gromna betray your team? It's a little complicated. But I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you'd like. It's kind of annoying how this game treats every conversation like you haven't talked to anybody else about the same thing yet. I don't have much time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it brief. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us, but Grona convinced the Queen to let us live. Although now, I wish we had been killed swiftly instead of suffering through Grona's so-called surgeries. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the Insectoid's plans? It doesn't. Grona has his own agenda. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species and then use cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. We're his experiments. His failures. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Okay, that's not very nice. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life. Signs. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry its body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their short lives a little less painful. It saddens me to see them suffer so. Okay, so they grow clones into bottles, then bring them up here to have the queen feed on their blood. Then when she's done with them, they discard of them in the furnace. Nice. How does this thing work? It's basically a large transfusion machine. Blood is drawn out of the clone and fed to the queen. Is there any way to shut it down? Not that I know of. Gromna built it himself with some strange parts. Only he knows how it truly works. Those are the parts from the great machine, I guess. There's nothing else over there. Can't even get there. I need something to stop this machine. Only then can I disengage and remove it. Alright. Um, I guess we can't just take it. We got some tools from Graven, though, so maybe those will be able to help. Graven's tools. Hmm. 
Hmm. A piece of machinery. I hope this is what Graven wanted. A piece of machinery. I. I hope so too. I guess we stopped the machine. Has she noticed at all? Um, no. The answer is no. There's, um, kind of hard to spot, but there's something in the top left here, too. I'll have to climb up there somehow. So there's some kind of robe. After long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? I am one of them. I too have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids. Okay, Gromna and the Queen, I guess. We found her face. Um, rallying the troops, it seems. Cameras. Broadcasting Gromna's vile words to the enemy masses. An image of the Cyclops planet. I must not let these bugs destroy my people. You know, the Cyclops planet looks an awful lot like Earth. These screens show the enemy horde cheering Gromna's speech. There are so many of them. Surely the Cyclops race will be destroyed unless I can stop the Insectoids. The Insectoid Queen. I will not rest until she is destroyed. Controls of some sort, their purpose unknown. I'd best leave them alone for now. Proceeds to not leave them alone. Too big to carry down the rope. Even with four hands, that would be difficult. I must find another way. We don't have the tools anymore. Somehow. Strange. They seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. Strange indeed. Nothing else here, though. I guess we should just bring the, uh... Okay, we just basically jump down. Bring the uh, part of the machine to Graven. And yes, that means going all the way back down. A piece of machinery. A sound. No, the sound generator is what I need. I like how he puts the sound generator on the floor, but we still have it when we end up on the other end. Not sure how that works. Huh? Oh, great! Now I'm stranded here! Sorry. This flimsy stuff wasn't made to support my weight. What is this, King's Quest 2? Actually, this bridge is uh, scripted to this pier at this point. It doesn't matter how often you cross it beforehand. Can't talk to him about anything else. We do, however, have the piece of the machine for him. 
Hopefully we can get it to him without the bridge. Machinery. That works. Oof. Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong about Kromna? DNA test cycle initiated. Perfect! Second. No! Molecular cohesion negative. Damn it! Um... What? Some kind of experiment Max was doing by the sound of it. Guess it didn't work. What is it? It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is, you must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. Um, I think we already know that, yes. Some kind of portal opened here. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. Oh, we can't even look at that. Um, wait, weren't we underground? Why are we also up in the air? I'm confused. I've seen controls similar to those in the Queen's Chamber. Yes, I guess that is the second piece, so we will have to find a way to remove that. But we'll have to do so in the next video.